We're a few days into Indiana's largest festival. Visitors can shop from an array of vendors at the Covered Bridge Festival. News Sins Madison Zaleski spent the day talking with those vendors in Park County. She tells us what this festival means to them. Vendors and guests from all over are soaking up the fun at the largest festival in Indiana. From handcrafted items to homemade food, there is something for everyone at the Coverbridge Festival. And these streets have home to one local vendor for more than 60 years. How are you doing today? What can I get for you? Jim Meese has been part of every bridge festival since it started in 1957. His family has featured Martha Pressler's original sassafras candy since 1960. Meese says good food can bring together generations of the same family. We had a lady a year ago that uh, about my age came up and she had a little baby in her arms and we always give samples and she took a little pinch of that sample and put in that baby's lips and she said that was the fifth generation of their family been eating our sassafras candy. And just a few steps to my right, another local vendor traveled a few hundred miles just to be here. So we're from Des Moines, Iowa. We started doing the Covered Bridge Festival two years ago, so this is our second year. Many visitors are stopping by Andrea Roundtree's booth to get a whiff of her handcrafted gel candles and salt scrubs. She says the festival is the best way to get involved with the Park County community. There are so many people that come to this festival. I do believe from what I've heard, it is um, just about 2 million people that come to all of the different um, locations that are here in Indiana for the Covered Bridge Festival. While some newer vendors like Roundtree travel far to attend the festival, Me says it's fun to see new and familiar faces walk in every year. So I think the joy of the festival every year is having the young people come who've come for the first time for their experience and you know they're going to come back for the next 50 years. They're going to keep going. The Cover Bridge Festival will be going on until Sunday, October 22nd. Reporting in Park County, Mass and Zaleski, News 10.